Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you see find things on digikey.com. What are you looking for this week? Okay, this week I'm working on a project. Just introduced it, taking this IKEA Vindricting PM 2.5 sensor, which is a lovely little desktop air quality sensor, and IoTifying it. Um, so let's go over to the overhead. I'll just show it off real fast, and this video is going to be clipped. Um, so this board, this is the the sensor. Uh, taking it apart. Powers over USB, um, has a little 8-pin microcontroller, connects to a PM2.5 sensor here, has a little fan to keep the air, because you have to have air circulation to get pull air in, measure the um, part, particulate matter, and then it lights up the LEDs in the front to tell you, you know, from red to green, green is good, and then yellow you know medium red uh oh dusty um open up the window or close the window if you're in a california during uh, wildfire season um and we wanted to make a version of this board that replaces this microcontroller with an iot capable microcontroller so um probably an esp32 s2 but it'll support it'll be open source you can of course revise it and design it so let's go quickly to the computer and i'll show just sort of a rough idea of where we're at Liz is doing the design. I'm just showing this off, uh, and she'll also do a video probably about this project. Um, but so we have like a Wi-Fi module. It's a little bit big, but again, I went with the least expensive, so it's a little you know the larger one is a lot less expensive than the compact version. Um, we have four NeoPixels on the back, so you'll have like purple if you want. Um, I squared C if you want to add more sensors, and then the PM 2.5 and fan connector power and reset buttons. And we just give a little bit of like a bloop out here, um, which is fine. There's actually a lot of, if you look at the um, overhead real fast, there's a ton of space. So you can see like there is, it's totally cool to just like have a little bloop area over here because this is, um, the, the PM 2.5 sensor is what dictates the width. And then this board is quite slim. Um, but the thing is, if I wanted to fit you know, I have to have it fit through this slot, and then there's a little, like, a notch here, and, and that's all good. Use calipers to measure it. But the challenge is I want also to have it use the same USB-C connector here, and this is a vertical connector. And if you'll notice, get nice and close, it is very blurry. It is very um, compact. It's right up to the edge of this PCB which then sits up against this plastic piece. So it's like, I don't have a lot of clearance. I need something that has ideally no more than the width of the uh, USB-C socket in clearance. You can see this version has two prongs on each side and um, you can see the contacts over here. Okay, so this is the... Uh, this is the, yeah, it's a USB one. And it doesn't have a part number on it, but I want something similar. Surface mount, ideally, it's pick and placeable. But I like the mechanical through hole, obviously, so it doesn't get, you know, although it has the plastic. Um, so I'm not too picky. It can be a surface mount tab if I absolutely have to, but I think most will be through hole. Um, and then of course I want power and data because the microcontroller that I'm going to be using will be programmable over USB. So let's go to, the computer. And I think we did a great search about USB-C connectors. Like here's a board with USB-C, but this is um, horizontal and I want vertical style. So let's go to DigiKey. Let's do USB type C to get started. So I want USB, DVI and HDMI connectors. Correct. And let's also always start out with looking for just active. So let's just use that to filter out. And then I want, I always take to pick the, the dash in case there's something I want to miss. USB-C, I don't know what stacked is, so I'm just going to select it. So I want USB-C to fit into that same slot. And then I want it to be a receptacle because it has, you know, the cable plugs into it. So let's start with there. Okay, we've already narrowed it down. Let's take a look. Yep, these are USB-C. Ooh, this one's a vertical one. Just a good start. But I still have the horizontal. I want to definitely only get the vertical ones. There's a lot of horizontal style ones. 
So let's look for how we select for vertical. Um, okay, here we go. So horizontal, bulkhead, no, flange, I don't know, vertical flange, I guess is okay. I don't know what reverse, vertical, reversible vertical is. The old USB-C is reversible. Uh, and vertical flag, also don't know what that is, but we'll pick it up. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so these are looking good. These are all vertical. And you'll see some of them have, like I said, little like prongs that come out, which I don't want. I need it to be very slim. Um, it's also like this version. This is flag type, which I don't want. I don't know what the reversible is. So let's let's get rid of flag because I want flag. It's not not that many. Um, and then another thing is, I was like, oh, I only want one port. I don't care too much about the voltage or current rating because it's going to be definitely run off of five volts. It's going to be very low current. Let's look at normally stocking. So get rid of the unavailable ones. Okay, cool. So this actually, like, the first one looks perfect. Let's let's sort by price because, you know, I want to, I, I do want to have this be, you know, somewhat price sensitive. And there's actually one that's like pretty much exactly what we've got on the board. Remember, it's got the two side prongs. So I was like, yay, let's take a look. And then I realized um, when I looked at the data sheet, sorry, when I looked at the drawing, <laughs> that um, it didn't have all the connectors exposed. It only has power CC1 and CC2. Uh, so it's only six pins and that means it's a power only USB-C, which is totally valid. And when I looked actually at the board, um, let's go to the overhead real fast. If you look at the board, you'll notice this is a power only connector. There's only six connectors here. So to save cost, they went with the power only USB-C. So this is my controller that they've got here is like ROM, flash program, whatever. It's, it's pre-programmed that nobody's going to mess with it um so they didn't make it it's not usb capable so let's go back we, we want to filter those out because we don't want you know there's quite a few of these um usb c and what i noticed is that they say number of contacts six plus 18 dummy and what that means is there's six active and 18 are you know they're on the socket connector but they're not brought out so we don't want those so let's go back up so we see 24, 16 plus eight dummy. That means some are not connected, but there's more than six. We definitely don't want the ones that only have six. So we're gonna filter those out so that we only have the ones that have data connected through. Okay, great. So actually we're looking pretty good. So now we're, we're starting to get connectors. The only thing is, as you see this one, it has those legs that come out. I kind of don't want those. I really want to minimize that i also only you know the more i looked i was like oh there's a lot that have like the sock you know the pads come out the pins come out but then i found some good options here so these here um looked really promising even though they don't have the two i couldn't find any that had like the two pronged connector um i did like that these you see how they don't like come out they're nice and flat and there's a lot in stock and the, the price is not too bad, you know, 70 cents per. So looking at the data sheet, um, you know, it's not as slim as, I don't know, although it's not too bad, you know, like the pads for the um, mounting holes are not, they don't really come out past the uh, connections for the um, uh, data pins. And if you look at the, the, the pins available here, you have ground power, CC1, SBU, uh, data plus, data minus, two and one, so both sides. So we'll definitely have data and power available. So this is it. I think this is gonna be um, the right connector and you can see here. I actually picked a slightly different connector and then realized I think I have to uh, squish it in. So I'm probably going to change from this kind of like large pitched to, you know, this one's a little finer pitched, but we'll be able to go right up against that plastic piece and fit in the enclosure. So I think it's going to be a much better bet um, to fit for my um, update board for the IKEA Vindrichting. So uh, check this out. So my pick for the great search. It's a great search.